In this video, I'm going to show you the new features that we added to the embedded video element in the Thrive Content Builder. Hi, my name is Hanne from Thrive Teams and with the last release of the Content Builder we added some new video features that I'm quite sure you will like because some of them were highly requested. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As always you can just add the responsive video by dragging the element on the page. Click on add video and you'll see that in the video type you actually have an extra choice now the self-hosted one. This means that you can have a video anywhere on the internet and you will be able to embed it in your website. For example, on Amazon S3. The supported video formats for the moment are MP4, OGV and WebM. As you can see, I added a link to an Amazon S3 video and now it's embedded on the website with just one simple click. But that's not the only feature we've added. We also added something that's called the custom thumbnail. So this is really useful for self-hosted videos, but you can also do it on YouTube or Vimeo videos. So click on the add video thumbnail button and here you can choose any image you like. As you'll notice, the image covers completely the video, so also the controller. That's why you should choose either to have a text on this image, which says click here to play the video, or to add the customized play buttons that you have available in the Drive Content Builder. So once you've added a video thumbnail, you'll see that there's a new menu. For the moment, it's called no play button. And if you click on it, you will be able to choose a template for a play button on this image. So let's say the circular dark one. Here you can see the new play button that appeared on the image and of course you can customize this one. You can choose another color for example and if you want you can also add shadows on the hover over or on the normal button. Let's save the changes and have a look at this new image. So we have the image, we have the play button and once you click on it the Amazon S3 video or any other self-hosted video appears. Now, you might be thinking that this custom thumbnail thing is really interesting for self-hosted videos, but that it's not really necessary for YouTube or Vimeo videos because you probably already use a custom thumbnail on these platforms. And you're right, on your own videos, you already have a custom thumbnail. But what about videos from somebody else that you want to embed on your website? Now we have the possibility to add an image over this video to make sure that it matches with the branding of your website and to put a more enticing call to action button for example. This will allow you to have a consistent branding on your website or to add a more enticing call to action for example. This will help you to have a more consistent branding on your website or why not? add a more enticing call to action to the video. I hope you like these new features and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video.